good morning guys welcome to today's video it is already 11 30 a.m we are just finishing school we finish around 11 30 12 um i am just getting breakfast i also my homeschool video should be up um last night by the time you see this it'll be already up whoever this is and if you watch her, our channel then um shout out to you because i really pony like pony o pone somebody in germany i don't know who it is yeah. anyway she is do you follow them on instagram uh, now she does <laughs> anyway sophie is doing her finishing she up her chores bareback with a neck roll she even jumps bareback one day sister one day you're gonna be doing and that one day you're gonna be doing that i know it anyway school is done for the day and we are getting ready to go to the barn but first we need to eat eat oh i'm so hungry i like to start my day with a smoothie can i have help putting that up there can you have help putting that up in there let me see let me let me see you stretch wow sophie you did it good job sister this has been the summer of do it yourself <laughs> i know that sounds mean but i like i have this thing where I raised three people, three entire people, to adulthood, to like complete adulthood. My oldest son is turning um, 30 in November, turning 30 in November. I know what it's like to raise kids. I know if I do this with my kids when they're growing, it's, they're gonna turn out like this. Like I know a lot. I know a lot about raising kids. I learned a lot of things and I learned that being kind teaches, grows you kind kids. And I learned that helping, grows kids that help and that's what i want for my girls i want my girls to be like that and so i tend to do a little bit too much for them so because she's the baby and yeah it's an excuse but i don't care i'm not a baby no you're the baby of the family no i'm not nick <laughs> is the baby <laughs> yeah nick is kind of the baby of the family i love green pepper in my smoothies i love it Ew. um anyways so it's just because boys are kind of like babies for their whole life even more than girls but anyway uh, yeah so it is an excuse but anyway this summer i have never told you guys but this summer has been the summer of do it yourself and i still struggle sometimes at reminding her to do it yourself because she's always ready to ask me for help my um riding lessons for the last couple of weeks i think you've missed two now and it's because i'm nervous to show you guys like i shouldn't be nervous but i am i'm nervous to show you guys because i'm right i've been riding stella the last few weeks and on this week particularly she um or like i told you guys we've been having trouble and you guys haven't really seen the trouble like she at the end of my lesson this week she said a storm left the arena and she was like, oh, I'm leaving too. If he's going, I'm going. And I was riding her in the middle of a lesson. So I had to try and steer her and she fought me tooth and nail. And I was like, oh, I'm trying to keep her over and using all my leg muscles and trying. And she was just ripping me across the arena. And it was really hard for me. And I really want your guys' advice. Like so bad, I want you guys to tell me what you would do, but I'm afraid of all the mean. I'm afraid of all the mean. So I don't feel comfortable sharing with you guys. And that makes me so sad because that's not the kind of person I am. I'm the kind of person that shows everything because I am not afraid of saying, oh yeah, I made a mistake or oh yeah, I did that wrong. I could do it better. That That's who I am. I, I am a sharer, but I just don't feel comfortable sharing with you guys. And it just makes me really sad. But um, hopefully I'll get myself past that and I will be able to share um, my riding lessons with her with you um yeah i just want to say that so you guys knew what was up with it and um yeah so there's that <laughs> we are headed to the barn um in homeschool this week we are talking about miracles so, so many miracles all the miracles that jesus performed or some of the miracles that jesus performed but there was a miracle in our very own house and i'm going to tell you guys what it was after six weeks after more than six weeks of not being able to hear i mean like nothing um this one ear is almost completely unclogged it still has a little bit but i can hear so much like the girls just turned on the radio and it was blaring 
<laughs> and I'm like, oh, turn it down. But like for the last six weeks, we've been listening to it at that level because I couldn't hear. It's the weirdest feeling. It's like, it's just so crazy. I'm so thankful to be able to hear again. And I have faith that I'm gonna be able to unclog this ear too. Wow, what an, what, what a miracle. Excited to have me hearing again? No, because then I can't whisper. Yeah, I'll hear everything now. Yeah, I want to see her. Hey, sweet girl. So, did I tell you guys that she's back in her mare field at night? Yeah, because she's lonely. So, she, so I noticed you have a new halter on too. Holy cow, how many halters do you guys have? I think I have two more. How did you get a dirty face just walking down there? Uh, because I kept kissing Stella. Oh dear, there's some black spots on her leg there. I don't know. I feel like she's not losing weight again. It's like, no. I don't know. No, she's like this. Now she's like that. Yeah, sometimes she's like all skinny and then poof, she's chubby again. Let's see. We're going to try this, but we don't usually ever try anything without our instructor. So, um, jumping bear bag, jumping <laughs> four, um, doing lots of things. Okay, so basically, um, doing bit lift. we're going to try the saddle with that thing. Our instructor's probably going to be here before we're done, so we can double check it with her. We're going to try it, and we're going to see how it is. Storm is the best instructor ever. He will tell us if it does not feel good on him, boom, he will tell us. He, like, that is one thing about him. I need to tell you guys something, but first you're going to... And then you're gonna come outside and I'll show you something. All right, tell Today us. Today is National Kiss Day. Come Today's on. National Kiss Day? Come on. Come Yesterday on. Yesterday was National Game Day. Yesterday was National Game Day. And I'm not making it up. Oh. Kiss, kiss. Yes. <laughs> She's like, ew. Ew, I'm tasting her boogers. <laughs> ew, you have boogers? She does have boogers. Ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> She's like, hmm, what do you have there for me? <laughs> Look at that. She's like, <laughs> ew. <laughs> Hi, Stormy Knight. I'm doing rain grower. Mom, yeah. So uh, we cut out a lot of this stuff. You guys don't see how long my girls groom our horses for. Like, I'm they. Rain grower because it actually makes his mane longer. Yeah. Before it used to be up to here. And now it's down to here. So hard it's to gotten see. so much longer since we've been here. Wow, yeah. It's like like somebody cut it. Yesterday, yesterday it was up to here, and now like it grew that much more. Yeah. How you can tell how your horse rolls? First of all, she has zebra stripes. Yeah, always, every day, every here. day. They brush her. She's all dusty. They come back here, and there's dirt. Yeah, I saw. She had like, look at this. That is mud, dirt. I know, but it comes off. Yeah. When you hear your eight-year-old daughter bargaining with her horse, please just suck in the belly. I'll go bitless today. <laughs> Stella's like, okay, I like bitless. Oh, uh, what happened yesterday was this. Not yesterday, the day before on my lesson. I was riding around on Stella and Storm left the arena and she was like, um, I'll just go with him. And we were on the wall and I said, no, you have to stay with me. And she uh, started to go and follow him. And so I was using all my muscles, I already said this, and trying to keep her on the rail. And I mean, it was really hard. And my instructor was saying, you know, just keep her on the rail, keep her on the rail. And I was like, how do you keep this big, huge animal on the rail? And it was really hard. And I hate being that person that's like, you know, super firm, which is why she does it, because she knows. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we're working on, and that's the problem. Right, princess? It's not that I don't know how to stop. I know how to stop her, and when I do stop her, and we're in a lesson, and, and even when I stop her, she does great, but if she doesn't want to stop, and I stop her, she says, I'm not stopping. That's the problem. I, I, I'm having a hard time explaining it. It's not that I don't know how to stop her, and she does stop amazingly when I ask her to stop unless she doesn't want to. If she doesn't want to, then she does what she wants. And I have that problem with every horse I've ever ridden. And yeah, so I just need to figure it out. She's like, she's like, ha ha. <laughs> oh, anyway, something really crazy happened last night. The girls do not read the comments. Gabby um, just never gets there. That's just not her thing. But Sophie, it is her thing. 
and last night she was upstairs and she was reading her nightly reading before bed and then I came up to kiss her goodnight and she had finished her reading and so she decided all on her own that she would do some of her comments on her channel. So then when I checked her in, she said, I was doing some of the comments on my channel and I was like, because I don't, she, and she said, and some people were mean and then my heart broke. Like, I don't know, it was just sad. Like, people were not mean. They just said things to her, like said things on her channel in a way that she's not used to hearing them because usually we talk to her in a positive, kind, loving way and some people were like more firm and more direct. She wasn't used to that and yeah, I had to explain to her how all people are different and people say things differently and she's fine with it and she overcomes things so easily. But yeah, it was like, I don't know, it was a weird feeling knowing what we go through with the comments and then having like her read the comments and then even having this much of a feeling of what it's like to read comments that are not that nice. It's crazy. This year, as you turn nine, is your do-it-yourself year. Do it yourself, do it yourself. It's easy to just hold her. Yeah, I'll hold her. I'm getting on you, so don't you dare move. Mom, can you help me? Please. Mom, can you? Yeah, she's... Look at their shirts kind of match. Your shirt, that's a good saddle pad for that shirt. Yeah. It is hard to put a saddle on this girl. Hard to fit her. Remember, we're going to try not to poke her. I need to walk her around. Yeah, that saddle is not on there very well. So we tried it, um, the half pad on top of the saddle pad. Yeah, and that didn't even look good. So, um, didn't even look comfortable. So we just took it off. Looks good. Right, so Gabby's job today is practicing riding with contact. It's been two days since she had her lesson. So that's what she's working on. And I'm working on bit lifts. <laughs> she's working on bitless dapples. So anyway, Stella and I just had our first argument. It was horrible. Basically, um, she was throwing a huge fit. I was trying to adjust the saddle. It's hard to put a saddle on her, and I was trying to adjust it. And it, she was just being super pushy and super annoying, which she's not that horse. She's not a pushy horse, but she's a, come into being that kind of a horse because we just allowed her. So then I tapped her on the chest and made her walk backwards a couple of steps and said that's enough and then like i wasn't even super firm but i like did that and then she was like oh! like i think i scared her even like and then i felt really bad so then i rubbed her head and said like you have to listen and be a nice girl and as soon as i touched her head she caved into me it was like i just needed to tell her like you need to stop now and then she submitted to me like in the most obvious way. So hopefully that's all that has to happen. All right, way to stop. Yes, every time you do something with her, you have to praise her. There we go. There we go, and then there's Miss Gabby on a mission. Just riding around. We're gonna do a circle up here. So this is the first time I'm using contact without the instructor, without our instructor. So it's probably a little harder for her. Without. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24. I am not pretending I'm born like this A game for the reckless It's so extreme And I don't really care I don't really care, yeah no, I don't really care I don't really care, yeah They're calling me a mad woman Mad woman, mad woman Calling me a mad woman Mad woman No, I don't really care I don't really care, yeah so 
So a friend was reminding me today that we are going to the Royal Winter Fair this year. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a big, huge horse show um, oops, in our area. And we are going and hopefully we're going to meet a whole bunch of you guys. If a lot of you guys mentioned that you're going to be there the same day as us, then maybe we'll plan to have uh, meet up at a certain spot at a certain time, which would be so super cool. Um, also, if any of you guys are local and you've been following that story about the horse that got that went missing, um, there's a horse and she was at a show and it was like a cross country kind of thing, kind of like a, uh, a trail ride kind of thing. It was super casual. Her horse has done it for six years in a row and she was at a show and she was going down the lane with her horse and um, a donkey braid and it spooked her horse and he went to the side and there was a fence there so she ended up having to jump the fence with the horse and the, the she fell and her horse took off running and her horse was missing and I saw all the posts on Facebook her saying like I lost my horse he's probably has a saddle on hopefully he has a saddle on because he had a saddle on when he went off and um, they found him after three days somebody hired a helicopter to look in the area and he, he went in a pond and so yeah he didn't make it but oh like just even talking about it just awful like could you even imagine having this amazing horse and loving him for so many years and then he gets afraid and and it ends disastrously this is terrible <laughs> Yeah, I saw her. She liked that. She's like, she, you were singing. She really definitely likes the bitless. Gabby is just a woman on a mission. Good boy. Holy cow. That is gorgeous. He knows what to do. Yeah, he does know what to do. Okay, Gabby's practicing for her show because she wants to do well. All right, some of you guys said bring some money, put it between her legs in the saddle and see if she can hold on to it. If she can, she can keep it. And that is what I'm gonna do. I didn't bring any this time. I need to go get some. But yep, I'm gonna do it. Whatever she can hold on to for a certain amount of time, she's gonna get to keep. For the whole warm up. Yeah, for the whole except warm up. For, except for walking. Yeah. Is that better, you guys? Is it working better? Is she doing better? This feeling haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping. Shot away. 
to hit that subscribe button down below.